Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our AC the Dalek key mode. This is I think episode number 55 and today we are going through maybe the whole transfer window, maybe just a part because what I'm gonna start with, I have made the decision, I will of course play against Inter in the Copa Nazionale, we still wanna win this and I do wanna play against Inter, round of 16, not sure if we can do it but I will play it. I decided that I will simulate these three games for sure um, because Fontina I have played against them often enough. I will have to use my second choice team in the first game, don't really want to play against them, they're not that good, I think I might change it up, but I will definitely simulate the first. Against Genoa I will definitely simulate two, so I have decided that I will definitely simulate these two and play this one. I do not think that I will play against Fiorentina at all, so also not the second game. Let's say there's a 2% chance or so, maybe if they're really good in these three games and they are close to us and I can use my precious team of course, maybe I will change my mind. Um, Against Azul I've been thinking about it because they're a good team. I have decided though that I will definitely not play against them in both games. And I have decided therefore I will simulate, uh, simulate the first one. Which means I will simulate the first two league games. We then will play against Inter. We'll simulate against Genoa. We'll then think about if I want to play against Fiorentina. But currently with a chance of like 89% I will simulate it. And then I will think about if I want to play against Azul. If I decide no. Then I will simulate these four games. Uh, these five league games. Win, uh, play this one cup game and end the transfer window in the whole month today. If I decide I want to play against Fiorentina and or um, Zazuolo, then I will of course not go through the full transfer window because the only game uh, game I'm gonna play today is against Inter. Alright, that's about the games. Next up about the transfers. Um, I will, in the, after I stop talking uh, the, uh, about this, Talk about who I want to loan out and sell. There are two things though before that. First of all, I have offered a lot of players in our current youth squad. Because we have a lot of players who asked to go out. We have a, um, a full youth squad right now. We cannot sign anybody up currently. Plus, um, of course, it's a transfer window. So we have the option to loan out players. So I have offered, I think, five, six at least. So like a, at least a third of our youth squad. Um, all the players a contract. Um, all the players that are interesting in of course 16. I have offered a contract and I will of course try to load them out. That's one thing that will happen and um, transfer wise or so signing wise who we want to maybe sign. I told you there are two people I'm looking at, Oshchoy. I mean he's definitely the best player but I, we don't need a left back to be honest. We just don't need him so I don't really think I will go for him. I mean I, don't, I just don't need him. He is very good. High, medium, perfect work rates, left footed. I might think about it, I told you the only thing I would think about if, if we get him in, I would of course uh, give them Charizes. So the only thing I will look at is maybe offer them Charizes and if I can offer them Charizes and slight amount of money and they would accept it, I would maybe do it, otherwise I won't. If they're not interested in Charizes, it's not a, a deal we're going for. Movila, I have decided I don't think it's it's good enough yet. I don't think he's good enough yet. I think I will keep him in this club. If he still keeps improving, I might send him back at some point. But currently, I will scout around um, now. But the only player I'm really looking to sign is Oshchoy, and I will make an offer if possible of Jarisis and a slight of one of money. And the last thing I will show you before we can actually have a look is the worth of Jarisis. You can maybe see, he is at 18.5, Jerises is at 12.5, so he is two ratings lower, one rating low, um, one age younger. To be honest, do we really want to do that? To be, uh, I'm not sure. I mean, the work rates from Austria are a bit better, but he, actually I think Jerises might actually even be the better player. I'm actually not sure if it would even make sense to do that. The only thing I don't know is the in, um, is the interest by Sevilla, is the potential. So... I actually don't think it makes sense. I actually think I will just keep Jerises and not go for Austria. So currently I don't think there's anybody I'm going for. I'm not sure if I showed you this once on loan list um, last episode. I might have done so, but here you can quickly see. So it's the same player. Gori, Togoglu, Batur, Togoglu. Again, of course. Taduris, Zari, Georgiades, Popa, Nyakos. Um, on the transfer list, Cotriano on the loan list. Cotriano on the loan list because he had 94 potential, has a very good overall, is growing, is young. I was thinking about maybe it's worth to loan out Nyakos too and not sell him, but in the end, to be honest, we have two goalies and Cotriano's better, so he is currently the fourth best goalie and everybody has potential. We just really don't need him, even if, in the, of course, we could loan him out and then sell him maybe for a bit more, but to be honest, we don't need the money. As long as we cannot find interesting players, we just don't need the money. So I will just do that. Um, except for this, Kirkas of course should finally leave us. 
Tattoo is two. There are three points behind us, so it won't be the easiest game. I can use my first choice team this one. I have to use my second choice team in the next game, so I can use my first choice team today against Inter. They have won against Adelana Pergamo and Napoli. Three, at least three wins in a row, so they are in some amazing form. Interesting kit numbers, um, but we'll see. At war here, I'm fine with it. Then with your card, Ale. Ali Zami scores for them here here with the equalizer and it is half time with a 1 or 2 which would be a very good result. Yoku is in, they also sub on somebody, they have a red card so we are one man more. Dimitrio who has, uh, they score but Dimitrio subbed in and scores. Alright, our right back scores and we do get the equal, um, a 2, fine with it, don't really get, it's 1-0 and they got a red card and still they take the lead but I don't care, we do get a quick equalizer. Get one point away against Azzurro, perfectly fine with that. At home I want to win, against Fiorentina I would also accept 4 points and against Genoa I also want to win. So I want of course get good results. Milan is now 6 points in front of us and Udinese is also in front of us. But we are still in a good, um, good one. Two more games and then we have finished the first half of the season. Question is can we maybe finish the first half of the season in the top 3 on a Champions League place. That of course would be cool. Austria will be expensive to be honest. Um, even though I don't need the money, of course it just doesn't make sense to just spend it for no reason. Charis action might be better, so for now if Ostra of course will grow a lot, a lot faster in Bologna than uh, Charis will do. Then I might get him back, but in this transfer window I will not go for Ostra. We got a transfer for Fonyakos, um, it's decent enough, so Terni will I think sign him up. I will this time not forget to put the players on the shortlist, and you can see contract accepted by basically everybody and I will show you all these players real quick. I will just give you a quick um, a quick um, look at these players basically. So the players we just signed up, I think it starts with Patriano. Patriano, 65 weighted right back. He has a big big potential. He wanted out. He has some decent stats. Medium high is also not too bad. Main problem he is slow. Even though I can say he might be a good center back. Because he can play center back, so he can grow there maybe. He has the work rate for center back. He's six foot five. I don't really care that he's so slow, but for a center back, he's actually not that slow. So he's somebody I would maybe actually keep as center back. So that's why I don't want to really sell him. I hope that his, I thought his work rates would be shit and I thought, okay, no. But as a center back, he has future in this club. Popescu has this 93 to 94 potential, the biggest potential I've ever seen. For that, he didn't really grow that far, um, that much. Is really not the fastest player, also Manu says aren't too great. Finishing is really good, that's also a thing I always like. Low medium is almost, it's basically no good. Left foot also not great, so I think because of his potential, I will only loan him out. We we'll hope he grows a lot and then just sell him for as much as possible. But I don't think he has future in this club. On there, these enough pace, Manu sets are not too great, not the greatest stats. High low is good too, can play on both sides and first a weak foot, so I will loan him out if he improves a lot. He might have future, otherwise he ha um, hasn't. Panudiu is a 36 rated, um, a 63, what the hell, rated center mid. Uh, quite bad stats, I don't really, I mean 5 a week for Forster's game was high medium, is great. So, sorry for the background noise, that's my dogs. Um, when I'm alone at home, they always come to me and then do some random noises, I'm sorry for that, but um, yeah, if he calls a lot, maybe, but currently no interest. He is by far the highest rated player with a 71 rating and with uh, some huge potential. The thing is, he's slow, mental sets are shit. He has not the worst sets, but medium low to sell. I think he is a player I really also will just sell for a lot of money. Eliard is um, one of the most promising players just because he actually has uh, not really great pace, but for a youth player, he has actually not the worst pace. High high work rate's not too bad, 5 star weak foot can play on both sides. If he cross, interesting. Last one of these, Papadopoulos, probably the least interesting player because he is even slow, has not no work rates. Even he could maybe use my center back, but he's slow. So what I can say, Patriano has definitely a future at this club as a center back if he at least kind of improves. Popescu will probably just play, uh, be a player I would sell for a lot of money. Onda will maybe have future if he improves a lot, the same for Banu Tio. Sadik probably will just be somebody and will sell for a lot of money and these two probably also don't have a future. Uh, yeah, this if improves a lot. Yeah, I will put all of them on the loan list and of course again, hopefully, especially Patriano will improve because we do need a center back and it would be epic if he would improve a lot. So we can put them all on the loan list. 
I think now we have 11 players, Twanza list also, 10 or 11, and I think then I want like 7, 8 on the loan list. We have 9 Twanza listed and 6 loan list, so a bit less than I thought, I'm not sure why I thought it would be more. But yeah, we have a decent amount of players we want to get out, oh wait, there are still 2 more, that doesn't really make sense, but 2 more, so we have uh, 9 and 8. So we have 17 players we want to get out out of 46. Um, we of course won't get all the 17 players out, I just hope that I can get around 11 out and right now it looks like at least two of them will be possible, maybe in three. Alright, somebody on the bench um, is suspended or injured, but who really cares. They had some decent form in the last, uh, lost last game. Napoli was first place, now they lost like, almost every game, they are just keeping losing. Good team for sure, I think they are playing with a first choice team, but we are playing with a second choice team. Demetrio scores again, so he right now scores a lot of goals. Um, let's see if something else will happen. They unfortunately equalized just before of time. Jaris is in. They get a red card. So another time, uh, once again, we are one man more. Hopefully, we can win this. We are playing at home, so I would, uh, I would accept a draw. But if we have a chance, I would maybe like to win. Nope. All right. A one or two is fine. Napoli did lose against Torino again at home after they were one 0 up. So Torino is just losing and losing and losing. But alright, we start off with two draws that are not too bad. I, I'm, ex I'm quite happy with the results we got so far in this episode. Now, of course, our task is to win against Inter. Dimitrio going up. Here is some good form today. Two goals and now we did, up, uh, we did go up to 74. Good stuff from Dimitrio right there. We have Kiriakou back from injury. Trans offer for Östurun. I don't think we really want to sell him. So, nope. Alright, there we go. Togoglu left us 3.5, 350k. Badur left us 2.6 million. And Nyakos left us 1.5 million. And they will accept. So, yeah, it looks like we can do at least 4 players. 9 players want to sell. And it seems like we can do at least 4. I will now quickly um, put them all on my shortlist. And then go into the game against Inner. The last thing I want to quickly tell you and show you if. Is. is uh, Kiriakos is not fit. Nope. I cannot use Kiriakos in this game. But for the next game, I will use my first as team and so in one half weeks he will be fit. But it is this squad that will play against Inter. Alright guys, here we are with the away game against uh, Inter and San Zero. Uh, recently we haven't done too well against them. I think in the last few games we got like two losses in a draw or one loss in two draws. So we haven't really got... Um, we haven't really gotten, I don't know to be honest, the best results against them recently. So... Hopefully today we can change that, oh for fuck's sake. Um, we're gonna soon, at the first break, oh okay we can do it now. Um, have a look at the team, question is are they playing with a first or second choice team? And it is basically a first choice team. Radu this time in goal, I think the, um, it was the same, Kadaraya back, Jofa too. I think the left center back and the left back are new. Kondogbia Medel. Kondogbia also always on the bench. Ben Banika, Gabriel Perisic and Bakayoko. So only by, uh, Bakayoko, Kondogbia and the um, left side of the defense have changed. Maybe because of injury, fitness problems, maybe because of second choice team. But the only two players who might be bad are left center back and left back because all the other players, Kondogbia, Bakayoko, we know are good players. Alright, let's see what will happen this time. Um, okay, thank God. Oh, what? What the fuck just happened? We had a corner. Sweet spot, I got a trophy for that too. I just got a corner. We didn't really work out and I had the ball with Sarah Rea, our center back. Just thought, why not just shoot with our center back? And look at the curve too, but the goal is retarded because yes, the shot wasn't too bad was quite high, good um, good curve on that, but it was really not the greatest shot and the goalie is just like the ball was so slow, he had so much time, he didn't even have to, you don't even have to jump to save the ball, he basically could have just moved a few meters to the left um, in uh, Sarres' perspective, so in his perspective of course to the right side and just stand still and catch the ball, but he just decided to be a complete retard, so thank you goal, uh, goalkeeper from Inter, um, Radu I think was his name is he not even the big um, Romanian goalkeeper talent? I think he have on our shortlist. I think he is actually. So thank you, um, Radu. Zarea just scored against Inter. <laughs> what the fuck was that goal? Alright, 30 minutes in. We are winning this game. And if we win this, I think we are in the quarterfinals already. 
There's always there washing food, but at least we can get the block. Ooh, they're not getting the equalizer, Paka Yoko. I always want to say Baya, uh, Baya Koko or something, not Baka Yoko. Big chance. It really looked like it would be good, but somehow he did miss. So Inda was the better team so far. But we got one very bad goal. And they are missing their chances and they had to fee. So, we are quite a lucky win, but who really cares? Tavellas now, the slide tackle unfortunately too good and we didn't have the space to dodge it. It looks like we can take this 1-0 lead into half time, which would be a great thing. If we don't concede with this attack, Perisic against Pankratio. Oh, Perisic, this agility is too much, but he is not really crossing, so I think we can actually make a cut here. Oh, let's see the course. Yeah. Please stop this dude. The pass. We cannot get the slide tackle. But Yildiz makes the save. We had quite a boring second half so far. This was the first thing that happened. Gabriel off for Icardi. They have an amazing attack. Again, the, if they improve the defense a bit, just um, sign, let's say, a better left back, maybe one more cent um, amazing center back. They have a team that can maybe fight for the Champions League title. I mean, this team is freaking amazing. Alright, thank god we didn't concede, but he just made the save. He caught it with a long shot the post. So they're getting better now, but there isn't much time left. Oh, a bit of luck there. There isn't much time left, so it looks good. They only have around 25 minutes for injury time, 30 minutes, and they need a goal. Then he's to Togaslan. Look at the space, Togaslan. Can he win this? Can we somehow win the header? That would be the win, but the goalie punches us over the goal. First big chance for us, I think, since we scored. We haven't had a lot of chances in this game, for sure. I think this was our second one. And the first one was a long shot from our center back. Uh, like, this was our first, maybe, real good chance in the whole game. But we're winning. Oh, okay, we just had the header. So, basically, we had this header, one long shot, and this chance. But now, we are talking about 15 to 20 minutes. And we are still winning this 1-0. We still have the clean sheet. He still has not conceded a goal. Oh, I hate this game. We got an injury. Of course, a big injury with Zavellas. This is the first bullshit thing. But I also have to show you how this happened. Because the following happened. We had a counter-attack maybe. And now look at the one dude who is left from Zavellas, who is now getting the ball. Uh, number 4 is actually. He is slide tackling. He is not hitting the ball. Like he is light tech why is it not an okay? He's light taking not hitting the ball clearly hits his ankle with a very bad slide tackle. And the ref just didn't give anything. This is all that happened, and the ref said nothing. There was no this is maybe even a red card. He's light taking never tries to stop his slide tackle. Clearly gives not on towards the ball, but just into the ankle of Zavares. This is a, a tackle where I understand. That Savas would be injured. I do understand because normally it's always the shit where like one e like you can poke him and he is injured. Here I understand that he's getting what the fuck was that? Why did this work out? He can understand that it's an injury, but I cannot understand. First of all, of course it had to happen, and now probably he's injured for three months or four. But how the fuck is this not a free kick? Not even four. Now they score. Oh my god, they missed again. Okay, we do have some luck too, but like. This was not even close to what I asked. We have a lot of luck, to be honest. The game is kind of helping me. But uh, let's just switch the ball away, to be honest. But to be honest, I mean, his light tackles, more or less from behind, is not even close to hitting the ball, never stops and hits his ankle and injures himself, uh, injures the, uh, his opponent very badly. This is definitely foul, definitely yellow card, and in my opinion, you can at least, of course, think about a red card, but in my opinion, it is a red card. And for the ref, it's not even a foul, but this is a foul. This ref is retarded. But guys, we are in the last few seconds, and Pankratio's really bad long shot, and their goalie being a retard, currently would win us this game and get us into the quarterfinals, which means only three more wins, and we have won the cup. Ref, please put the whistle. We are parking the bus. And the ref blows the whistle. We have done it, Benjamins. We have finally won against them. We have got the clean sheet. Let's just hope that. Tavellas is not injured for too long. Milan is also through, Palermo is through against Roma. That's interesting. Um, we are now in the quarterfinals. Genoa is there, Napoli, Torino won against Juve. Fiorentina, Palermo won against Roma, which is probably the biggest surprise. 
Lazio won against Gunesa also quite a surprise. Milan won and beat that win. So, I mean, Genoa would be nice. Napoli, I'm not sure. They're in bad form currently. Torino would be nice. Fiorentina, hopefully not. Palermo would be nice. Lazio, hopefully not. And Milan, hopefully not. I only don't want to play against Milan and Lazio. The other five teams, I would accept. And now let's have a look if Zabalas is injured for just a few weeks. Or oh, for a long, long, long time. And this might be a reason why. Maybe we'll sign yeah, just the female spoken anchor. I do understand. This this tackle can definitely break an anchor. I do understand. Of course it ended for three months. Is this... Of course we do need a new striker now. The question is, do we have an interesting striker in our team? Or is this the moment where I have to say, I need to sign Movila. Um, Kukuzuk is actually back from his injury. We have to put him in here too for Hanagos. Do we have anybody who could take that spot? I mean, maybe somebody... The, who was good in finishing? There was somebody good in finishing. This dude. Oh, he is not great enough. Gori is not good enough. I don't think so. I could maybe put like Anders, but he is also injured. He would be somebody would think about. So I think... I think I might have to sign a new striker. I think I need to spy, uh, sign Movila. I think I will do that now. So Movila, if he still has showing great potential, I will. I think I will sign him now because I need to. Alright guys, I actually have one idea. We could use Alex Apolos as striker. He, I've never used him as striker and it doesn't say he can play there. But medium wheeling work rates isn't the worst. Freestyle weak foot left footed is decent enough. 81 finishing. Has a decent enough pace, no strength though. I'm not sure if I would do that. I still think I would sign Movila, but of course there's also the option. I mean, I will not sign Movila today because I probably quite soon end the uh, this episode, uh, not before I enter the trans window, because I think I will play against Sazulo the second game. So I think there is gonna be, if Movila is not too expensive and if he wants to join us, I think there, gonna be, there is gonna be a word in the top right about um, Movila or Alexopoulos. Do you want me to use Alexopoulos as striker? Then we don't need Movila. Of course, before that, until that, I will use Alexopoulos as striker. So in my second choice team, he will be the striker. And in case you do not want me to... Um, in case you don't want me to use Alex Apolis, then I would say Movila. You will just see that Alex Apolis is already in our second choice team. So if we use him as striker in our second choice team, I and mean, we do use Patur now. Anders would be perfect now, but Anders is injured. <sighs> I'm not sure how I will do this, to be honest. My second choice team right now, I think I just have to put somebody really weird in there. I think I just put in... I mean, Tutuklu has some decent rating, so I think him... Uh, let's just do put Tokuklu. Until he gets so Tokuklu will actually play for my second choice team. There is nothing else I really can do right now. We did sell to Goklu to Everton. I will put him on my short list. We got a transfer for Popa, um, a player I do want to sell. Uh, the off I will go up to 1 million. Let's just go for 1 million. That should be fine. They should do that. Then he will leave us too. So, to, uh, like the transfer list players to sell them doesn't seem too difficult. We have five, uh, 9 players on our transfer list. Four of them already did get sought. And. There is another offer, so I think we can at least sell uh, 5 and therefore already more than half of them. But we didn't even get one loan offer yet, so loaning out players is much more difficult than selling players for some reason. But it's the Togoku I just said until we get sold, so now he's sold, so now I actually the injuries are really annoying. I don't really know what to do, but I think Popescu because of his potential and he is a left mid, I will just put him in my shortlist right, uh, on my, uh, as left winger, my second choice team. Because I don't know who else I should put there. You know what? I will actually put in Zadik because he's 71 rated. I think it actually makes the most sense. He's 71 rated. I mean, even if I don't use him, he has potential, has a huge rating. He's actually with 71 rated, one of the... Uh, um, oh wait, I made a mistake. That's my first choice team. But I will put in my second choice team actually. I think that makes the most sense. 4.8. Um, 4.8 is quite alright, I would say. We're starting off with like 3 million, uh, wait, 4.8, but yeah, let's go with 3 million, they might all accept, uh, accept this, I think this is a decent enough offer, we don't have that much time, like 2 weeks, so I will start already with a decent offer, normally I would start with 2.4, half of what they asked for, but I think we're gonna start with that, um, both teams are really tired, but of course, for some reason Panagos and Bangatio are very tired, 
But I don't care enough. Um, let's simulate it. The last team to play against in the first half of the season. We are currently not in the top three, but with a good result today, we could get there. Two to also find this episode. They are using a first choice team and take the lead after nine minutes. They were the third or in a way fourth place, but the same amount of points in third place last season. So last season they were amazing. This is not too great. They score a second Zadik in his first game straight away equalizes. Another injury, maybe. I would accept the tour, second choice team away. Kaplan is in, Zadik with another goal. What is going on? Maybe this dude is the best thing that happened to us. Of course, I knew we are gonna concede. I actually knew it. Because this is the typical game. If you play enough FIFA, you know that you can't concede. Two minutes before the end. We are only trying to tour. And it's just being retarded. So three league games today, two tours and one loss. Amazing. Just freaking amazing. So we finished uh, somehow fourth place. I still don't understand. We are so bad. Since the start of the season, we are in such bad episode. I simulated before I started playing, we dropped so many points. I play games, we dropped so many points. And now this episode, 2 out of 9. How the fuck are we still in, in the top 4 now? But uh, Milan is gone, 11 points away. So um, Milan is gone now and if you is winning, we are also 6 points already behind them. But the Sadik dude. I'm just... And is it a big... Oh, two, uh, it's a big injury, 2 weeks, man. How many injuries this game gives me is just pathetic, but um, it's quite funny actually that I didn't want to use Zadig, just let him use him in one game because of injury problems, just use him once and he scores twice. What the fuck. They're gonna um, spend the 1 million, so I think Popa is gonna be the fifth player we're gonna sell in this episode, in this transfer window. They want more, I will go up to 3.3. Um, next up I would go to 3.3. I think 3.8. If they ex again don't accept and come with anything below 4.8, I will go to more Gyokyo. You don't necessarily need him. It is a good offer, but no, of course not. And Tartouris, offer is good enough. He's probably going to be the sixth player we can sell soon. <laughs> it looks like we can sell at least nine, uh, six out of nine players, but we still have not got one loan offer. A bit retarded. Alright guys, I do have some news. First of all, I've been looking for all the players the new players have been scouting, not one interesting player. Nobody knew on our shortlist. Second of all, Andres is back from his injury. So, we want to use him, but he's injured. So we knew Salik scores two goals in his first game, and now Andres is back, so I will have to put him in the reserves again. The fuck. We did sell Popa for 1 million, and we did sell Tartouris. I want 2 million in our transfer budget, and they still want more, so I will again go to 3.8. Which is 1 million below what they're asking for, so I think there's... They should now start accepting or at least start going down with what they ask for. Alright, we're gonna simulate the game against Fiorentina because if you look at the league real quick, again as Hasula 2, they dropped on quite a lot. Fiorentina are, I mean the same amount of points, so we're gonna simulate against Fiorentina is, if Sassuolo is not winning, then I would definitely simulate and if they're winning, it just mainly depends, but if they're not winning the next game, I will simulate. We do have enough days to rest. Oh, what? Now we have the game against Fiorentina hidden here. What the fuck? We play against Fiorentina three times within just 18 days. This game can be weird sometimes. Um, then I will simulate this with my second choice team and will play against Fiorentina, so I will end in two days. Um, or in three days. I will end before the cup game, of course. We're gonna play this one. So second choice team. Let's put out this dude, Sadik. You played good, but I'm sorry, Anders is back. But if we need somebody, you're an interesting option for sure. Let's hopefully end with a good episode. Uh, good result. I mean, the mo there was only one really important game for me in this episode, and that was the game against Inter, and we did win it. So I don't really care what we do in the league games. But if we end the four league games without him winning one game, with just three or even just two out of 12 points, that would be disappointing. Of course, six months in, we do have another injury. What else would you expect? Just give us the injuries. They're kind of using a mix of a first and second choice team. They take the lead. So of course, we did an injury and they take the lead. I mean, I do, did have to use my second choice team almost in every game, but it looks like we again can, can, uh, cannot win. Kaplan is twice. This does not make sense at all. They do a score again. I will now quick them. So, stupid substitution. We have lost again. So in this episode, four league games, two twelves and two losses. Two out of 12 points, and we are probably still in the top five. It just does make sense. Seven days, uh, it's okay. They accept actually, so it looks like right now we do really need him. We have too many injuries. 
We have a lot of money and we have so many injuries that we really do need this dude currently. Give him important first team player. Um, yeah, alright. What an episode. Could have been so good. A win against Inter, we thought almost everybody wanted to sell. It could have been so good. But, uh, at least... I, I told you I would maybe uh, give you a board, but to be honest, we do need him so much right now that I will just straight away do it. So we end in a decent way. It could have been so good. We signed somebody, we sold almost everybody, we did go for the coup, uh, for the cup game, but of course so many injuries. So we have to see what we can do. Yelis won't be able to play, Kaplan is very tired. And look at this, look at all these freaking injuries, man. This game is broken. But he is faster. But both have very bad mental stats, um, bad strength, so first thing let's go to Batur, um, mental stats are a draw. Bone con tripling a huge win by Movila, finishing to a huge win by Batur. Heading a huge win for Movila, long shots as well as shot power. Wallis having a huge win for Movila. Work rates a win for Batur, weak foot two. So I would say Batur is better, it should be the first choice, but if you want me to, I can also use Movila's first choice and Batur on the bench. Oh my god, so many injuries in this freaking team. <sighs> okay guys, um, very weird episode, hopefully not too long. We haven't done too much, but because of so many injuries, so many games, so many chances, it was quite a long episode, I think. Um, there is gonna be some time until the next episode, I mean, I would definitely do at least two Arbok Biki Kimos before, so I think in Three days, maybe even just in four. I will do the next episode. Where we will go and play the game against Fiorentina. And then we'll decide if we want to play against Sassuolo. If Sassuolo has won the game. And is then in the same amount of points. I think we were I think three points behind uh, before them. If they are now in the same amount of points. I will play against them. So I will either play against Fiorentina. Simulate against Sassuolo. And the transfer window. And decide what I will do here. Um, or I will play these two games. And end the tons window, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you uh, if you did, then it would be cool if you could smash the like button. Um, tell me in the comments who you think deserves to be our second choice striker, um, the second or uh, first choice, and an our second choice team. And except of this, guys, have an amazing day. I'm a bit exhausted now because this episode was so freaking crazy, so good and so bad at the same time. Um, yeah. I will see you tomorrow with Alborg. Hope you're looking forward to that. Have an amazing day, guys.